Last time, ang pinag-usapan po natin ay about general form of conic sections. So, from general form ay standard form naman po tayo. Ano-ano nga po ba ang standard form ng conic sections? Ano nga po ulit ang ating mnemonic? Yes, CEPT. C-E-P-H. So, magsimula po tayo high circle. Ipapaunawa ko lamang po ng ating i-consider ay sa point HK not at 0, 0. You will find out later. So, circle with radius R. The standard form, the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared is equal to r squared. What if the center is at the origin 0, 0? So, isi-substitute lang po natin ang 0, 0 sa ating hk. The quantity of x minus 0 squared plus the quantity of y minus 0 squared is equal to r squared. Therefore, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So, malilis na po ang ating kakabisaduhin kapag si hk lang po ang ating i-discuss. Then, automatic, i sa so substitute na lang natin si 0, 0 kapag nasa origin ang given problem. Okay? Parabola. We have two. First, the quantity of x minus h squared is equal to the plus or minus 4a times the quantity of y minus k. And the other one, the quantity of y minus k squared is equal to plus or minus 4a times the quantity of x minus h. Remember, na meron lang tayong isang squared and it is a parabola. Plus or minus. Let's consider the first. X minus H squared. At ang walang squared ay ang Y minus K. Therefore, Y axis. So, ang ating parabola or the axis of symmetry of our parabola having y minus k na hindi naka-squared ay vertical or the axis is vertical. It's either opens upward or opens downward. So, paano natin malalaman kapag upward or downward? Ito po yung silbi ng ating plus or minus. Sa ating coordinate plane, kailan po nagiging positive? Kapag pataas. Therefore, ang ating parabola ay magiging positive kapag plus 4a times the quantity of y minus k. Remember, it is positive when it opens upward and it is negative when it opens downward. So, the positive or negative refers to the orientation of our parabola. And yung axis po na walang squared ay tumutukoy sa ating axis of symmetry. Just like the second one, si x minus h po yung walang squared, therefore, axis horizontal. Okay? So, it is parallel to x-axis, ang ating axis of symmetry. And kailan nagiging positive? Kapag to the right. So, parabola that opens to the right is positive and parabola that opens to the left, negative. So, yun lang po ang ating tatandaan. The coordinate, the coordinate plane, ang ating consideration ng signs. So, upward and to the right, positive. Downward and to the left, negative. So, yun lang po ang ating magiging basis. So, next is ellipse. The first quantity of x minus h squared over a squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. And the second, the quantity of 
x minus h squared over b squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared over a squared is equal to 1. As we notice, consistent po or constant ang ating numerator at pinagpalit lang po ang ating denominator. So, para mas madali po natin tandaan, kaya ganun, ganun po yung sinecheck po unang-una. So, paano po natin malalaman yung orientation ng ating ellipse? Kung anong axis po yung nasa taas ng a squared, ay siya po magiging major axis ng ating ellipse. So, for the first, x minus h squared po ang nasa taas ng ating a squared. Therefore, parallel po kay x axis. And our ellipse is horizontal as shown. And the second, y minus k squared ang nasa taas ng a squared. Therefore, vertical and the major axis is parallel to the y-axis as shown. So, ganun lang po siya kadali. Ellipse is plus and please don't forget the equal to 1. Okay? So, yun lang po yung ating tatandaan na kung ano po yung nasa taas ng a squared ay yun po ang ating magiging major axis. Just like po kay hyperbola. Same lang po yung considerations. So, the first, the quantity of x minus h squared over a squared minus the quantity of y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. So, this is our first. And the second, the quantity of y minus k squared over a squared minus the quantity of x minus h squared over b squared is equal to 1. Please take note na minus po kay hyperbola at plus naman po kay ellipse and the equal to 1. So, dito po kay hyperbola, constant po ang ating denominator. So, just the same kung ano po ang nasa taas ni a squared, yun po ang ating major axis. Just like this first, it is horizontal. And it is parallel to the x-axis as shown. And the second, since y minus k squared ang nasa taas ni a squared, automatically it is vertical and it is parallel to y-axis. So, hindi naman po mahirap tandaan kasi magkapareho lang naman po yung considerations natin kay ellipse at kay hyperbola. Atin din po itong aralin at tandaan kasi... Lagi naman po merong conic sections at merong standard form. So, just in case na hindi man lumabas sa conic sections, magagamit din po ito sa area bounded by the curves na lagi din po meron at yung volume of revolution na bounded ng curves na nirotate sa ganitong axis. So, yung mga ganun po. God bless po sa inyong review. Kayang-kaya nyo po yan.